Hello guys. Hi, uh, I am Arvind Mahapatra. I am back with uh, another interesting SQL interview question. Basically, this question being asked by Amazon during the interview session. So, let's jump into the today's question. So, the ask is, we have an input table. Uh, this is our input simple table. And here, we have uh, one table. And in the table, ID and value, these are the two column. ID is basically primary key for that particular table and value is respective value of each id that has been mentioned here and the so basically in the arcs is here we have to find out the consecutive number that should be three we have to find out the identify the consecutive numbers in the table that should be three consecutive numbers in that particular table so here if you will consider uh, the output so here it should be the 12 so here the consecutive number is uh, value is 12 that has been repeated consecutively three times we have to find out that particular number uh, where it has been repeated consecutively three times so here uh, we are trying to identify the three consecutive numbers those are same so to get it what we are trying to do, what we will do is we have to compare this uh, value with the next value and next value with the next next value so that means we have to compare this 10 with 12 and 12 with this 12 if these two conditions are true that means if 10 is equal to 12 and 12 is equal to 12 if these two conditions are true then we can easily identify that these are the three consecutive numbers those are repeatedly consecutively repeating for three times then we will get our answer but uh, in this case if this uh, uh, in our case the 12 will be the answer 12 will be the expected output so this 12 should be is equal to 12 and this 12 the id is 3 where id is 3 this 12 is is equal to id 4 that i 4 value id 4 value is also 12 so in the similar way we have to compare each of the cell each of the value with each other to get it comparable in the we have to transport the table by the help of the lead function so what we will do is so we have a lead function so which will help us to move to the value to the next uh, it will move by default it will uh, it will uh, it will move the value to the next cell to the next column and it will be by default it will be moved by one one row so here this 10 it will be uh, moved into the uh, as there is no um, uh, no field or no value so it will be moved into the um, uh, it, it, it will be it will be considered as a null and this 12 it will be moved to here next value and this 12 it will be moved to the next to next value column so here what we will do is in the next uh, steps uh, then we will compare this value column with the next value column and next value column with the next to next value column so in this similar fashion we have to move all other value to the uh, next value column and next to next value column and we have to compare with all these things we have to compare the all the three uh, all the three column to identify the consecutive number so let's jump into the sql management studio so basically this is our table so what we will do is now just bear with me i will try to explain it one one more time so basically what we will do is select star comma we'll use the lead function and we have to give the column which we want to move uh, next if which column that we want to move forward by one by default it will be one just we have to mention that order by order by id it will be in the descending order and it will be will just give a alias as the next value from logs 
so if we'll run it see this the, the, the there is no field there is no uh, cell that to be goes up so that's the reason uh, it's not it's null it's not coming uh, this 10 is not coming so 10 is coming is in null here so 12 12 will be move here this 12 will be move here this 12 is move here this 10 is moved here and this 10 is moved to this in the similar fashion what we will do is we will try to identify the next we will try to move the now we have moved by one row now we will move by we will move the row by two value so the next to next next to next value so if we will run it see this this 10 is there is it's not uh, movable because uh, there is no uh, value to the uh, in, in the upper side so if you will uh, this this value will start moving from here this 12 will moved here this 12 is moved here this 12 10 is moved here this 10 is moved here so now if we will compare if we will compare this value column with this next value and next value column with this next to next value then you can easily able to identify that which which value is getting repeated three times so if you will see this id number two id number two this value value is 12 next value is also 12 next to next value is also 12 so basically this is the number this is the this is the value this number is 12 this value is being consecutively repeated three times so now what we have to do is i have to write a super query select star from from this table i'll just give you alias to that particular table where i'll just mention the where value is equal to next value and next value is equal to next to next value if you will run now if you will see the id id is 2 and id is 2 and value is this so now we need only that uh, particular uh, value so as conjugative numbers as conjugative number so this is the con basically this is the this is the value which is being repeated repeatedly three times this is the value basically re repeatedly three times so this is the solution one so here basically i will create a, another video for the solution two if you if you people have any better solution uh, apart from this solution please put your uh, solution in the comment section i will put all the test table uh, table script and the solution in the comment section of this particular video thank you if you feel this video will help you the in for the inter interview preparation please do like and subscribe my channel and do share with your friends thank you Thank you for watching my video.